hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i have a brand new story time for you guys explaining how i basically got finessed by groupon and i know y'all probably thinking like what you got finesse like girl what do you mean but don't worry grab your little cups of tea grab your crumpets because i'm about to spill all the tea about how basically i got finessed and i want y'all to comment down below if y'all feel like i was in the wrong or that groupon was you know right for what they did to me so before i do start this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and without further ado we're gonna hop right into this video this story time takes place around the same time of last year so last year I went on Groupon because I wanted to get my eyebrows done and as you guys can see like this is me with nothing on them and they just look you know full or whatever so I decided to go and get them microbladed so as you guys can know microblading be like 300 500 upwards to a thousand dollars and me do I look like a thousandaire like I don't have racks in the safe just to get my eyebrows done like period so i went on groupon and i actually found somebody who their work was good their price was affordable and they were 20 minutes away from my house so all in all this sounded like a good plan and bought my little groupon or whatever i think it was like 150 or something around there i think it was around like 150 so the first time i went and i got my brows done and everything was going good so i had to go back in for a second time for a touch up and this is where everything went wrong like this is where everything went wrong like had a breakdown started crying like everything just went downhill so the second time i went to go get my eyebrows done again i'm thinking like I could just pull up, you know, buy the, cop the little Groupon or whatever, and then, you know, go to the appointment, and then I just show her my little code on my phone, and she gonna scan it, and that's the payment, everything's done, like, everything is good. About to pull up the Groupon, like, I'm about to click view voucher, like, on my phone, and as I'm about to press it, she's like, no, don't press it, because the fact that you bought one, you know, probably like a month ago like Groupon only allows you to buy um this kind of Groupon every 90 days so that means I would have to wait three months before I could buy a new Groupon so I was kind of confused like okay like why didn't it try to stop me from buying a Groupon when I bought it like these people really just took my money and knew that I couldn't use the group plan. So like, I felt real salty about that. So then she was like, yeah, I'm really sorry. But like, while I'm still finishing, you know, doing the finishing touches, like you could try to contact Groupon and kind of say like, you know, tell them what happened and see like if you can get your money back because I've had this happen with a few customers of mine and they were able to get the money back or in some cases just have the money as like Groupon money so they could apply it towards something else. So I heard this, I'm like, everything's going good. Like everything is perfect. Like, so I ended up calling Groupon and I'm on the phone with them like, um you know i didn't see that you guys said that we could only purchase one every 90 days so like can i get my money back <sighs> and then the part that they said next really shocked me because they talking about they have a two-day return policy what i've never went to a place where i had a two-day return policy like you know how i feel why would you say that two days for you to be able to return something like and it hadn't even been a week since i bought it, it literally was five days since i bought it so i was like i was literally three days over like y'all really not gonna give me my money back so then i was kind of telling him like okay since i can't get the money back like am i able to have the money on groupon um am i able to have the money on groupon just like as groupon money and this man told me no so basically i could just give 150 dollars worth of stuff to somebody for free and then he was like or you could just you know wait for it to expire and i'm like why would i wait for it to expire so basically all in all this man was not trying to help me with my situation so then i had to pull out my own coin my debit card and pay but the lady was nice enough to let me get the groupon price um, instead of paying like the retail price that she normally does it for so I ended up paying another $150 so in total I spent $300 when I was only supposed to spend, spend $150 like I was mad I was mad as 
fuck. So then I was like, I'm not gonna let this settle. Like I was not gonna let this situation settle because like, that's a lot of money, you know? Like that $150 could've went towards something else. So I ended up calling my bank like, you know, like, these people, they scam me. Like, I want my money back. Like, and my bank lady was like, all right, sis, we got you. Like, we're gonna return the coins pronto. So I ended up explaining to her, like, you know, how underneath the ad, there was no return policy on there. Like, you know, I had all the documents and receipts to show them, like, you know, like, it was not stated underneath that, like, you had to have, like, it returned by two days. Like, all this stuff, I'm telling the bank lady all this stuff. She's like, it's all right, sis. Like, we got your money on the way. Like, don't even worry. We finna turn to the FBI and go investigate for your money because we not letting you all sad. So, clue, hang up the phone. I get my coins back. I'm feeling much better. Like, I'm just so overall happy about myself because I'm like, I got my money back. I got my eyebrows done. Like, I'm looking like the bad bitch I was meant to be. So then, everything's going good. The bank tells me that it's gonna take um upwards of three months but it should be resolved in like a couple weeks like the little dispute they have to do with groupon so three months roll by and nothing happens so i'm thinking like you know i beat the case so i don't have to do the race like you know i'm thinking everything is good after three months like y'all really still worried about this like y'all really still worried about this so then somewhere around like seven months later seven months later i get a mail from bank of america and literally groupon was still trying to fight it so they wouldn't have to pay the money like y'all making hundreds thousands millions of dollars probably and y'all over here tripping over in 150 so like seven months later these people were still trying to fight my bank so they wouldn't have to pay the money bro so i got a mail in the bank from bank of america and it's and it's like all these like screenshots of like all the stuff they sent to Bank of America and all in all it still didn't show on the ad where like how you were supposed to get you know the little return policy so I'm kind of like okay you sent out all these receipts so I ended up getting really mad because like afterwards they ended up my bank ended up taking the money that they gave me months ago like they snatched it like a thief in the night literally they ended up taking the money back so then i was really upset because i was like okay first of all y'all didn't have no return policy underneath y'all stuff how y'all gonna allow me to buy something for this much money knowing that i'm not gonna be able to use it and then seven months afterwards after the fact, y'all still fighting hard. Like, I don't know what kind of lawyers they got, but like, if I ever get into some trouble, like, I'm gonna need they fucking lawyers because like, ain't no way. And then the thing is like, the receipts that they were sending to my bank for the case or whatever, like, it didn't even match up to like, the actual product and stuff that I bought. Like, they were just sending like, their whole return policy, but like, they didn't connect it to what I freaking bought. So I'm like, all right, so if y'all gonna do this much over $150, like, I really just let it rest. I was like, you know, it's whatever at this point. Like, I'm not finna argue with y'all. Like, I'm not finna fight with y'all over $150 because, like, y'all took it as far as going for seven months. Y'all took it this far to go seven months for something of $150. So, in conclusion, your girl ended up losing $150 um off using groupon so my suggestion would be that if you are going to buy something off groupon and you are going to purchase it for like some day purchase it closer to the day that you need it don't purchase it in advance because like their return policy is real funny like they won't put the return policy but they just expect you to know it which i have never seen before on any shopping website that i have been on so that's the only kind of moral of the story that i have for y'all i learned my lesson i basically got robbed um this happened like a year ago so i'm kind of over it like you know I'm over the fact now, but um, if you guys enjoyed this little mini story time slash rant slash my little closure piece with Groupon, you know, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know if you guys want more story times down in the description. And thank you guys for watching.